Hey guys, today I am gonna show you how to downgrade from iOS 5.1 to iOS 5.0.1 and yes, it's really easy and even if you don't save your SS, SHSH file this tutorial will help you Okay, uh, all download links are in the description first for the IPSW for the iOS 5.1 0.1 here if you have an uh, iPhone 4 or iPhone 3GS it will work for you um, it will also work on the iPod touch 4 gen and 3rd gen and yeah that's the first you have to download then you have to download iFate uh, on ihatesnow.com in the description and click here and then download that unzip it and then download tiny umbrella the link is in the description here uh, this tutorial only works for windows okay here you have to click here now if you have that all on your um, screen on your desktop here you have to open tiny umbrella if you get any error message uh, when you open Tiny Umbrella, you must download Java or Java, how you would call it. Um, that link is also in the description, but only if you have uh, problems when you open it. Okay, now open Tiny Umbrella. Yes, and wait a little bit. Okay, then click here on OK and OK. And maybe you don't save that your SHSH files before, but Cydia saves your SHSH files automatically. Okay, um, don't click here, don't uncheck this, let it check. And connect your device to your PC. Okay and now you see I don't have any SHSH file here I was on iOS 5.1 but I downgraded and now I want to show you how to downgrade now you go uh, on here or here no matter and click on save SHSH now wait a little bit Okay, and you see I have here uh, from Cydia, that's all from Cydia, I have 4.3.3, 4.3.5, 4.0.1 .1, and 5.1, and we need that if you want to uh, downgrade to 5.0.1. Now we go to advanced and you see the SHSH blobs are saved there. Um, okay, now copy this um, uh, di directory and open it. And you see here are the SHSH files. But um, you can close this now and open iFade. Okay, now Build sign at IPSW, browse for SHSH block on, and at, it will automatically go to this directory and click on uh, the SHSH file that is 5.0.1. Okay, sorry because my English, but yeah, think it's good. <laughs> Okay, now you must browse for the iOS 5.0.1. Mine is on the desktop. Okay, here. Now it verified.
okay now click on build IPSW and this will take a while okay I will make a pause here and I come okay it took me two minutes to wait um, yeah now um, you must go to proceed and you must kick your device in the uh, pawn at the FU mode and I will show you how to get in the DFU mode okay okay you can do it like this instructions here from IFA or you do it like mine mine is to press the power button and the home button 10 seconds or until the um, the screen goes black and then and then count one to three then let uh, the the power button and press the home button but do it like that like the instructions on iFate because their uh, that instructions are better okay click on start and look what iFate say to you what you should do it says um, turn off your device I won't do that because you don't need that just press um, power button and home button one two three and release the power button and hold the home button until the iFade recognize your device now you can release the home button ok now you are in the DFU mode you can close out of iFade and we can now start to downgrade our device you see here is the iFaith uh, sign it firmware and now open iTunes open iTunes and you will see you get a message ok now press shift and restore Shift and restore and browse for the iFaith firmware, not for the normal ones, uh, browse for the iFaith firmware. And yeah, you will see it extracts the firmware and I will show you the progress, okay. It extracts the uh, IPSW. Okay, it's too much sun. Okay, and how I say it, excuse me for my English, but think it's good and you can understand me. Okay. Now you see it's not the app logo, it's the iFaith logo. And yeah, I will come back when it's done. Okay, you see? I will come back in some seconds when it's done. Okay. Only some seconds to finish the restore. Okay, and it will finish. Okay, finish. No error. It's all good.
and yeah now you downgrade it to iOS 5.0.1 and you can enter the jailbreak your iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, iPod Touch 4G or iPod Touch 3G and yes that's it okay Okay, you're downgraded. And um, yeah, have fun with your downgraded device. See ya.